You know what I've always wondered? What can simulations using Kubelka Monk theory reveal about the hidden structure of pigment mixing space? I'm sure you've wondered the same thing. Kubelka Monk theory being, of course, a set of equations that allows us to predict or model mixtures of substances, how those mixtures will affect their absorption and scattering of light, and therefore you can model how the mixture of two paints might look. If you take those predictions and put them into a perceptually uniform color space like OK Lab, you can get models like this, where it shows basically the path that you travel as you add more and more cadmium yellow to phthalo blue. This, by the way, is from Hello Mixbox, an online resource put together by Max Bow, who's a designer at Canva. So what if you take all of a whole set of pigments, like the ones here, and chart all of the paths that they kind of network together to create. You get sort of a picture of this pigment mixing space. These are based on real pigments, but what if we use imaginary pigments to really kind of chart the, the space in its entirety? Well, you might get something like this. These are all full saturation RGB colors as though they were physical pigments, how they would mix with white. You see it sort of turns into this interesting pattern where those paths bend towards subtractive primaries, magenta, cyan, and yellow, and away from additive primaries, red, green, and blue. Here are those same pigments all mixed with each other to show you the entire structure of that space. What if, however, we just look at the primaries and secondaries, white and black? You can kind of see a little bit more clearly what this three-dimensional space is and how the curves, again, move away from cyan, magenta, yellow and squish in toward red, green, and blue. Here is an animation showing you how as I move that imaginary focal pigment around the perimeter of RGB space, the different curves of those paths kind of weave in interesting ways. And I think there's a lot to be studied here and I don't even know where to begin. So again, if you're curious about all this like I am, you can play with this. It's called Hello Mixbox. It's programmed by Max Bow based on two things, Bjorn Ottesen's OK Lab, which you can learn about here, and Mixbox, programmed by these lovely people, and which you can learn about here.